Hello everyone, so welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we are going to discuss about children's nutrition. So, children. Children ages 6 to 12 need healthy food and nutritious snack. The children grow consistently but at, but at a slower rate than infant and toddlers. So the nutrient requirements for the children are in the energy requirements the girls need 1200 to 1800 calories a day and the boys need 1200 to 2000 calories a day children energy vary depending on their growth and level of physical activity this energy requirement is according to gender so next is the ma macronutrient requirements so for carbohydrates 45 to 65 percent of daily calories which is recommended daily allowance of 135 to 195 grams for 1200 daily calories next is protein is 30 a 10 to 30 percent of daily calories which is 30 to 90 grams for 1200 daily calories children have a high need for protein to support muscle growth and development high level of essential fatty acid are needed to support growth although not as high as in infancy and toddler years next is fat Fat is 25 to 35 percent of daily calories, which is 33 to 47 grams for 1,200 daily calories. Next is fiber. Fiber at at least 20 to 30 grams of fiber per day. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that the body can digest. Though most carbohydrates are broken down into sugar molecules, far Fiber cannot be broken down into sugar molecules and instead, instead, it passes through the body undigested. Next is the micronutrients. So, foods that are high in iron such as lean meat, legumes, fish, poultry, and iron-enriched cereals. Adequate fluoride is crucial to support strong teeth. Adequate calcium and vitamin D. Vitamin D are and calcium are both needed to build dense bones and strong skeleton. Vitamin D should be given a supplement of 10 micrograms or 400 international units per day. Regular sun exposure is the most natural way to activate the vitamin D in our body. Next is the kids healthy eating plate. Half of the plate with colorful vegetable and fruits. Split the other half between whole grains and healthy proteins. So for vegetable, the more veggies and the greater the variety, the better. The recommended serving is three to five servings per day. Next is fruits. Eat plenty of fruits of all color. The recommended serving is two to four servings per day. Next is wool grains. Go for wool grains or food made with minimally processed wool grains. The less processed the grains, the better. The serving per day is six to 11. And for protein, beans, peas, nuts, seeds, and other plant-based healthy protein option, as well as fish, egg and poultry the recommended serving is two to three servings of two to three ounces of cooked clean meat poultry or fish per day next is fat use healthy oils for plant like extra virgin olive canola corn and flour and peanut oil in cooking on salad and vegetable and at the table Next is the dairy. 
Choose unflavored milk, plain yogurt, small amount of cheese, and other unsweetened dairy foods. Two to three servings or cups per day of low-fat milk or yogurt or natural cheese, 1.5 ounces is one serving. Next is how to help a child to eat nutritious food. So, first, be a role model. Kids, eat the way you eat. Follow these tips yourself and your child will be more likely to eat the way you eat. Start them young. Food preference develop early in the life. Exposures your child to different kind of food early on continue as they grow old. Next is focus on overall diet. Instead of focusing on specific food, focus on eating pattern, provide as many full minimally processed food as you can. Avoid package and processed food when you can. Next is know what they should be eating. Much of the focus is placed on what they should avoid. This can lead to feeling deprived instead of focus on what you and your child should be eating. This keeps eating healthy as possible, positive action. Next is, do not force them to eat. Do not make your child clean their plate. They need to learn how to listen to their body when they feel full and are allowed to stop eating they are less likely to overeat. Next is keep the reward, the food reward. When you use food as reward or to show affection, your child could start using food to cope with their emotion. Instead, give them hugs, praise, attention, or time together. Next is put limits on screen time. When you put limit on TV, computer, or video game time, your child will tend to find something more active to do. Also, snacking while watching TV leads to mindless eating and your child will take in more calories than they should. Next is set snack boundaries. Teach your child to ask before having a snack. Have him or her sit at the table to eat the snack, not in front of the TV. Put snack like pretzel, or popcorn on a plate or in a bowl, do not let your child eat directly out of the bag. For conclusion, child nutrition is a very important part of a child. There are things that you need to know in feeding your child. You must be knowledgeable in the need of your children. We should provide them enough nutrients that are needed. There are tips that you can follow to help your child to eat nutritious food by encouraging a healthy habit. Thank you and see you again in our next video.